anger on the streets of the Colombian capital. This is just one of protests nationwide that have lasted for four days now against government fiscal reform that opponents say that amid the pandemic is just too much to bear. It is incredible that in this crisis we're experiencing this violence that the country is going through and the government carries out a tax reform and ends up impoverishing the people even more. At times the protests have turned deadly, with isolated looting, vandalism and accusations of police violence from human rights organisations as both sides clashed in several cities. In the face of pressure not just from the public but the opposition and politicians in his own party, President Ivan Duque announced on Friday that the reform would be revised. The basic family budgets of Colombians will not be touched. There will be no VAT on public services or on fuel, among other things. In this matter, the rules of the game that the country has today are simply not altered. Duque still insists that the reform is badly needed to right the country's finances and had been meant to raise some $6.3 billion over the next decade to maintain its credit rating and fund its social services.